Imagine swimming in the ocean and suddenly coming face to face with a creature that's larger than a school bus. That's what it would have been like to encounter Megalodon, the largest extinct monster shark. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of Megalodon and learn about its incredible size, diet, and habitat. The Megalodon was one of the biggest fish ever recorded and was the largest shark that ever lived and hunted in the waters until it became extinct millions of years ago. Its gigantic teeth are approximately three times bigger than the teeth of a current great white shark. The scientific name for this creature, Otodus megalodon, means giant tooth. The fossilized bones and teeth of the megalodon shark provide scientists with important information about the species. While the popular 2018 movie, The Meg, pits modern humans against an enormous megalodon shark, it's actually more than likely that the beast died out before humans even evolved. Because just a portion of the megalodon's fossils have been found, it is difficult to determine the precise moment when the megalodon became extinct. The age of megalodon fossils was investigated by a research team from the University of Zurich in 2014. They used a method known as optimum linear estimate to calculate the age of the fossils. The majority of the fossils have been dated to the Middle Miocene period to the Pliocene epoch. The last time any evidence of the creature's existence can be found in the fossil record is 2.6 million years ago. Six out of 10,000 simulations, which is a relatively little percentage of the data from the Zurich research, suggested that there is a 1% probability that these huge sharks are still alive. This possibility does not seem to be very likely, and the researchers concluded in the report that they did not believe the popular claims of present-day survival of a megalodon. Scientists are in agreement that megalodon sharks have been extinct for a very long time. This is due to the fact that no recent proof of the monster has been unearthed, not even fossils that are any younger than 2.6 million years old. However, one theory suggests that the megalodon shark perished because of the cold seas in which it lived. Megalodons were extinct around 3.6 million years ago, when the Earth entered a period in which it experienced a period of global cooling and drying. Megalodons inhabited tropical waters, but when sea temperatures plummeted towards the end of the Pliocene period and oceans started to freeze, their habitat may have been far more limited. In the meanwhile, a significant portion of their prey, which mostly consisted of smaller whales, seals, and sea turtles, either perished or moved to seas that were too chilly for their shark predators to survive in. Now, let's see what is the actual length of the megalodon shark. The megalodon was an enormous animal. The size of the megalodon is a topic that sparks a lot of debate between members of the scientific community. Some people believe that the fish might grow to be up to 60 feet long, while others say that around 80 feet long is more plausible. These differing opinions are based simply on the size of the teeth of the fish. The giant oarfish, which is also known as Regolicus glens, is the longest bony fish that is still living today. Sharks do not have bones. Their skeletons are constructed of cartilage instead. The big oarfish has been known to reach a length of up to 36 feet. According to Marty Becker, a professor of environmental science at William Paterson University who researches shark fossils, original calculations significantly overestimated the size of megalodon. This information was shared with live science. This may be explained, at least in part, by the fact that the fossil record of megalodons is virtually entirely composed of teeth. The most recent research suggests that the megalodon might have reached lengths of up to 10 meters, which is far longer than the creature that will be portrayed in the summer 2018 film titled The Meg. The longest tooth ever found belonging to a megalodon spans around 7 inches in length, making it almost three times longer than the teeth of great white sharks. Ancient peoples speculated about the origins of the monsters based on the enormous size of the beasts. For instance, early finds of megalodon shark teeth in Western Europe were considered to be the petrified tongues of ancient serpents. Today, we know otherwise. The locals referred to them as tongue stones. The amazing teeth may be discovered in large amounts in many different parts of the planet. Teeth of megalodon are known to have an occurrence all over the world and they are prized among fossil collectors for their varied colors, serrated edges, and large size when compared to other fossil and modern shark teeth. Prior to the time when humans realized the relationship between fossilized megalodon teeth and current shark's teeth, 
They believed that these pointed pebbles represented the points of dragons' tongues. In the 17th century, there was a common belief that these enigmatic pebbles have therapeutic virtues and people would gather them in the hopes of bringing themselves luck. The megalodon was native to the majority of the ocean, with the exception of the polar areas. While juveniles kept to the shores, adults preferred coastal areas but could move into the open ocean. Fossils with the greatest southern latitude may be discovered in New Zealand, while those with the highest northern latitude can be found off the coast of Denmark. The megalodon preferred warm environments, much as dinosaurs did. It is believed that it hunted in the shallow, warm oceans that covered the majority of the Earth during its period. The megalodon may have been extinct as a result of the drying up of these oceans, the beginning of the Ice Age, and the water being locked up at the poles. The shark became extinct due to either starvation or being frozen to extinction. The megalodon was a predator that lived at the very top of the food chain. It subsisted on the meat of whales, dolphins, and other large marine animals. It may have even consumed other types of sharks throughout its lifetime. Researchers believe that the megalodon would first attack the flippers and tails of the animals in order to prevent them from swimming away, and then it would go in for the kill. The 276 serrated teeth that the megalodon had were the ideal instrument for shredding flesh. These sharks had a very vicious bite as well. Experts have calculated that the megalodon had a biting force that ranged from 108,514 to 182,201 newtons, while humans have been measured to have a bite force of around 1,317 newtons. Megalodon co-evolved with whales as a primary food source over its evolutionary history. Whales, being mammals, have the capacity to self-regulate their body temperature and migrate toward the cooler waters of the poles. Although the precise thermoregulatory capacities of megalodons remain the subject of ongoing research, the inability of megalodons to hunt whales in waters with lower temperatures is thought to have been one of the primary factors contributing to their demise. In order to secure their own survival, megalodon shark infants may have devoured their own siblings. In order for the surviving shark to attain lengths of 6.6 .6 feet at birth, it needed to consume the other embryos since each one would grow to take up a substantial amount of space as it developed. The bite force of a megalodon is speculated to be at least six times as powerful as that of a Tyrannosaurus rex and more potent than that of any other known mammal. These monstrous sharks were able to consume enormous whales and fish as a result of their ability. Bites from great white sharks only manage 18,219 n, whereas bites from humans only achieve 1,317 n compare and contrast with the previous sentence. In the same way that modern bull sharks do, megalodons gave birth in certain nursery environments, which included bays and estuaries that were shielded from predators. These areas supplied the young sharks with a plenty of fish to eat and a protected setting in which to develop, shielding them from the bigger predators that inhabit the open ocean and offshore zones. Researchers have found potential nurseries for megalodons in four different locations, Panama, Maryland, the Canary Islands, and Florida. Visitors to the museum love to take pictures of themselves or their groups in front of a gaping megalodon jaw that is loaded with teeth in the Sant Ocean Hall. The mouth has been expanded quite wide in order to display the teeth. The jaws of the live shark were unable to open to that degree at any point in time. When you visit the National Museum of Natural History in Washington, District of Columbia, you will get the opportunity to get up close and personal with a megalodon model that is scaled to real size. The model has a height of 52 feet, which is comparable to that of an adult female megalodon. The mouth of the model is left open so that the viewer can get a good look at the size of the teeth. The megalodon was a recent acquisition for the museum's West Courtyard, which opened in the spring of 2019. Thanks for watching our video on Megalodon, the largest extinct monster shark. We hope you enjoyed learning about this incredible creature and its place in the prehistoric world. If you want to learn more about Megalodon and other fascinating creatures from the past, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos.